Good morning, class. My name is Mr. Ben Lira, your teacher for today. It is really important for us to always begin with a prayer. So everyone, please settle down. Bow down your heads and feel the presence of our dear Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly and gracious Father, we give you our thanks, we glorify and praise you for all of the blessings that you have showered to us, for your love, for your care. Thank you so much. We would like to ask an apology for everything that we have made, especially for those bad things. We are asking for your forgiveness. Lord God, please continue giving us what we need every day. All this we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please set along, class. Let me first check the attendance. Wow. It seems that everyone is here today. We have a perfect attendance. Wow. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, thank you. Please clap your hands. Very good. So, how was your weekend? Anyone? Hmm. That's good to hear. Who among you here went to the beach? Hmm. Wow, nice. Nice. So, you have seen huge rocks, clear and blue, ocean, and was able to feel the refreshing cold wind? That's pretty impressive. Sana all. <laughs> anyway, anyway. It seems that you have really enjoyed your weekend. But before we start our proper discussion, let's first recall what we have learned from our previous topic, which is motto. So, this is what we called review time. Are you excited? My first question will be, what is matter? Anyone? Yes. That's correct. That's correct. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Correct. My second question will be, give me three examples of matter. Yes. Correct. The three examples of matters that you've given are stone, paper, and pencil. Last, are you made up of matter? If yes, why? Anyone? Yes, at the back. Wow, that's correct. Impressive, impressive. We are made up of matter because we occupy space and we have mass. Thank you. Okay, class. Do you want an activity? Wow. Let's engage. We'll be having an activity and it is called I Belong To. So, here is the direction. The students will be grouped into two. The teacher will give the students a set of words and pictures and will, be, and will let the students paste the words on the board. And the pictures will be put below the words they belong. So, before we start, please group yourself into two. The group one will stay on this place and the group two will stay on this place. Here. Group one, group two. I will only give you five minutes to do the activity. And it starts now. Okay, class, your five minutes is now over. Please exchange your answer. And I'll be showing you on the screen the correct answer. You're about to check it. After you check it, please skip it because... I'll be recording it after the discussion.
Okay, okay, okay. Now I'll be showing you another another picture. I want you to observe. Then tell us what you have you seen on the picture. Anyone? That's correct. There are three containers with particles inside. Impressive. So can you explain further about the containers having different particles of numbers? Correct. The first container is completely filled with particle. The second container has a lesser particle inside. And the third container has the least numbers of particles inside. Correct. That was a well said explanation. Let us understand it more as we go through to our proper lesson. Our lesson for today is all about the three states of matter. And here is the objective of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first identify the three state of matter. Second, differentiate the characteristics of three states of matter. Third, reflect the importance of the three state of matter in our lives. Okay. In our class session today, we will get to know the three state of matter, their definitions, and their characteristics. Who among you here can enumerate the three states of matter? Yes. Correct. The three states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. Therefore, let us define what is solid. Anyone? Yes, a solid particle are packed closely together. The forces between the particles are strong enough that, that the particles cannot move freely. They can only vibrate. As a result, a solid has a stable, definite shape and a definite volume. Correct. Next, what is liquid? Any idea? Yes. Yes, correct. A liquid is a fluid that conforms to the shape of its container, but there retains a nearly constant volume independent of pressure. The volume is definite. Okay, understand it. The volume is definite. It does not change. If the temperature and pressure are constant. What about gas? You, yes. Yes, correct. Gas molecules have either very weak bands or no bands at all. So they can move freely and quickly. As you can see, let me, as you can see, in the picture, the gas is so spacious. They are, the particles inside are not contact with each other. Because of this, not only, not only will a gas conform to the shape of its container, it will also expand to completely fill the container. Wow. As of this moment, I will be showing you a short video about the three states of matter. I hope that you are going to watch it attentively. Okay? Okay. Short video about the three states of matter. I'll be playing it. You have already known the three states of matter, which are solid, liquid, and gas. So, right now, let us know the different characteristics of the three states of matter. Let us start with solid. Who can answer? Please. Yes. The characteristics of solids are the following. 
the arrangement of particles are closely packed together. Particles are very attracted and do not move past each other. It has a definite shape and volume. So what about like liquid? Anyone? Yes, you at the back. Correct, yes. The characteristics of liquid are the following. The arrangements are particles are close together and can move past each other. Particles are attracted to each other. It has definite volume but only follow the shape of the container. Very good answer. What about gas? Can you describe its characteristic? Yes, you. Yes, that's correct. The characteristic of gas are the following. The arrangement of the particles are far apart and can freely move past each other. Particles are barely attracted to each other. It has no definite shape and volume. Always remember that gas has no definite shape and volume. I have a question for you guys. This question may sound tricky, but I believe that we can answer it. Well, we have learned a lot about the three states of matter. My question is, can water from a liquid state be transformed into solid and eventually into gas? Is it possible? Anyone? That's correct. It is possible. But how? Let me explain to you. For example, I have here a, a glass of water. How can I transform it into a solid face? Of course, I'll be putting it inside the freezer for some time. And eventually, it will turn into ice. And we all know that ice is solid. But what about if I put, it, if I put the ice under the heat of the sun? What will happen? It will melt. So from solid, it turns back into liquid. So what about if I put the water inside the kettle or inside the heater and boil it? What will happen? What will be your observation? Anyone? That's correct. Yes, there is smoke. If the water reach, reaches its boiling point, you can see the smoke. And that smoke is what we call evaporation. So from a solid from a solid state of ice, it turns back into liquid. And if we're going to boil it, there will be an evaporation. There will be a smoke. And that smoke is called gas. Now, we are already in the gas phase. Impressive, really impressive because you were able to understand the, the, the topic that we, are, um, that we are tackling right now. We are already in the last part of our discussion. So let us evaluate what we have learned. I want you to get a sheet of paper and then answer the question. Relate the illustration particle models and properties of the three states of matter to the current situation, which is the COVID-19 pandemic. Minimum sentences is 10. Is that clear? I will only give you um, 10 minutes to answer the question. Okay, guys, I have here the, all of your papers. Thank you for answering the question. So for your assignment, I want you to create a particles model of the three states of matter. The designs and materials will depend on your availability and capacity. Please be creative. Okay? Okay. So I guess we are all done with the topic for today. Thank you so much for your cooperation. You are very, very good today. You actively participate to our discussion. I really, really thank you. So guys, please stop. Thank you and goodbye class. Goodbye.